So I'm recording this video for the third time because I found out that Shadowplay re was recording the wrong mic all the time. So I had this really weird issue with Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's open this Palakori Den Abicyclu project, which is a music video I'm working on. You can see it works perfectly fine right now. However, when I import anything, for example, let's have a look at this camera, the interlaced folder and import, I don't know, for example, this mp4, which is encoded in the same way that this one is. Let's import it and you can see that now when I try to scrub through the timeline, it doesn't work well. You can see that the video preview pane updates, but the timeline one doesn't. However, it does update when I click, either when I do an outside action to it, for example, rewinding through the video preview pane, or when I open one of those menus. You can see it just updated. It put this slider thing where it's supposed to be. So I have the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Maybe new blue FX could be causing the issue because I don't think I have the newest version of that. Now it doesn't happen just with this mp4. You can see I delete it, it's fine. For example, when I generate a black video, even then it happens. So it doesn't matter what I import, just when I import something it happens. Now, this isn't the first uh, project where this happened to me. For example, let's go out of it and open uh, the this VCR version 2 one. Never mind the offline media, it's an old version of the project. As you can see, the full interface cannot be seen until I do an outside update. Yeah, you can see that a part of this sequence window reappeared right now. When I open any of these context menus, I can see the whole interface. Yeah, so let's return let's return into the Palacore project and I'm just going to show you my settings in case you find anything wrong there. Even though I cannot think of anything, so these are the project settings. I don't even have ingest enabled. I don't know, these are the sequence settings and these are the global Adobe Premiere Pro settings. So yeah, that's it.